but but um the worst sound system in the world go on upgraded or not go is on. ferrari's system. no way they, ferrari's worse than lambo they are the worst <laughs> I mean, you might as well just rip the stereo out. It's that bad, mate. I'm just saying. So I wind up, Tony, pretty much, I'd say every day. Well, you try. Telling him that I could do his job. <laughs> I'm an auto trader. I can do your job easily. I spend so much time on auto trader. I'm pretty sure he just eats biscuits and fills V5s out. I don't know about you, but horses absolutely terrify me when they are moving fast. And I've just started recording. And those horses over there have just bolted into that field, which gets me a little bit suspicious of what's going on in those bushes over there. But ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Supercars of London down at the Gravelwood Industrial Estate. This is not the entire estate that Tony owns, but round the corner is where his office and dealership is. And fingers crossed, my car is gonna be in prime position. This is a new daily driver for me. If you saw my video last week, I came down here because Tony called me up and told me that he had the car for me. Well, I drove it, I liked it, and it turned out he had an even better specced car and it is now in front of me and it is in prime position as I was expecting and it is so much better than the white car that I drove. It's a little bit annoying though, isn't it? I literally referenced Range Rover SVI in one of my videos recently and he's only gone and dailied one of them. But ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my new daily driver and my Nuke version 3.0, boom. A Mark 8 VW Golf GTI 2021. I'm gonna go upstairs and find Tony. M4, competition, Cabriolet, look at the seats. Carbon seats. I think they're quite difficult to get. That is mega. AMG GTR still here. Defender's new. It's like a brown color. I wonder how many of you are gonna say that I should have bought that over the Golf GTI. It's a little bit more expensive and way harsher on the road. Oh, this is a workout in the morning. Uh. Uh, oh, I, I had to turn the radio off. We can't have that on the camera. Can I show this? Yeah. Look how busy they are. Are those R's mean returned? No, review. <laughs> <laughs> how dare you? Are we gonna go and have a look then? Yeah, come on in. Have you seen it? Uh, well, I mean, I've literally walked past it. Thankfully oh. it was um, outside rather than tucked right in the back of the showroom, but it's literally just turned up, right? Yeah, it turned up last night, yeah. Yeah, and, and the impatient self that you are, I said, pull your cars in here. Oh, I'll come in a wall in. Because you've got nothing better to do. So, oh, I'll come some more then. So, um, you can't go yet, mate. You've got to stay here because the, the valet has got to detail it. So, I, I honestly don't care. He's only washed it off. So I don't care. No, no, no. You, you can't take it, mate. Really? No, no, no. He's got to clean it. It's, oh. he, he's got, it's, it's, it's been cleaned, but he's got to detail it. I can't let you have a car about detail in it i'm trying to think the last time i actually came down buying a car from you and connected it might have been the c63 was it yeah, it maybe. might have been maybe and do you remember when that car turned up and we were like yeah, how yeah. is that a c63 yeah what we done here it was the weirdest spec it had chrome everywhere <laughs> other than it being a premium uh, premium pack car yeah. had the sunroof and the sound system i said to you i didn't care what it looked like from the outside however with this when I drove the white Golf GTI and you told me that there was a black car coming, I was like, I'm going to wait for the black car. I'm going to see what it looks like. Because to me, the white car wasn't the spec for me. No, well, I knew these one, this one had the wheels on. Those wheels make a huge difference. Well, they do make a huge difference. As well, I know another thing that you wanted was the Harman Kardon sound system, yeah. which this has got. Yeah. Um, like, I'm the same, mate. I like music it in the car. It to have. Whatever car I buy, it has to have, like... The, the, the top stereo. It, 100%. Yeah, me too. I, I like that as well. But the thing is now, stereos, they, I'm the same as you, but sometimes, like in some cars, the stereos are good... A standard. standard, but but um, the worst sound system in the world, Go on. upgraded or not, Go is Ferrari. No way! They, Ferrari's worse than Lambo. They are the worst. <laughs> I mean, you might as well just rip the stereo out. It's that bad, mate. No, no, no. Yeah, it's just like the standard stereo is 
no point at all. <laughs> and the, the, the upgraded, I think it's JBL. Okay. It's terrible. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go back to this. What else has it got? We've got the wheels, we've got the Harman Kardon. So we've got wheels, Harman Kardon, and winter pack. Okay. Uh, which is Ideal for the build. summer. Uh, yeah, ideal. <laughs> <laughs> it's June, <laughs> uh, which is basically uh, heated seats and heat steering wheel. Okay. There's a couple of little bits and pieces on it, but it's not a mad spec because you have to be careful with these now. A lot of these hot hatches, they 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 reach the over forty grand mark. What does that mean? Well, you have a higher tax. Oh, so, really? Yeah, so like a three hundred pound levy for the first five years. So. And these cars are getting awfully close to that yeah. now in terms of if you throw some... A Golf R... Is 40k. It, it, with some options, you're in that 500 pound bracket. So a lot of people have the GTIs. They don't go mad on the spec because you can oh. easily put these over 40 grand. Yeah. And then instead of them being 180 quid a year to tax, they're 500 quid a year. And it's a huge difference. I so, had no idea about that. And I can you imagine. Want to be a motor dealer. Not that. <laughs> I'm just saying. So I wind up, Tony, pretty much. I'd say every day. Well, you try. Telling him that I could do his job. <laughs> I'm an auto trader. I can do your job easily. I spend so much time on auto trader. I'm pretty sure he just eats biscuits and fills V5s out. <laughs> For those that have been following the channel for a while now, you will know that I've been a Cora ambassador for the last 12 months, and this video is sponsored by them because they've got an exciting new feature which will enable you to get discounts on car insurance and even get it for free. Now, the first thing we need to do is go on to add a new vehicle. Once we click that, we then type in the registration plate where Cora will automatically be able to register which car we are adding to the app. So check this out. On the invite section of the Cora app, you'll be able to get a unique code that you'll be able to share with your friends. Now, when your friends then use that code whilst downloading the Cora app and then go and get their car insurance through Cora, you'll get £50 and they'll get £50 off their car insurance. It is completely unlimited, meaning that if you were able to get a 100, a 1,000 friends to download Cora, you'd get £50 every single time they get car insurance and they would also get £50 knocked off, meaning you could fundamentally build up a pretty nice pool of credit for your car insurance making it cheap, if not free, every single year. Is it open? Is it open? Well, no. Sure can't. It's like the Cupra key that I had. Well, same group. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, no. Look, what? No, no, no. What? You're not taking it, mate. I told you, mate. It's not clean. You're not taking it. Tough. I think it looks all right. No, no. How long can I have to wait? Not long. I love the cloth. Some breakfast. Alright, yeah, yeah, yeah. The tartan interior. Going back to Range Rover SVR, I've had C63 M2s. I even dailyed the Nissan GTR M2s at one point. Quite juicy as well, by the way. They they all the, the M2 actually was terrible on fuel mm. fuel. But all of those cars weren't real dailies. I drive a van every day. Yeah. Who cares to put miles on? Oh there it is. There it is. <laughs> that's, that's one of them. There's another one as well knocking around, which the which the valet is out. We've got two, but um yeah, I'll use that every day normally yeah. because there's no way I'm using a great big car and doing £80 a day in fuel. No chance. Well, look what happened with so, Sam in his RS6. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Prime yeah. example. Yeah, yeah. It's that car, you would argue, are one of the best daily drivers. If I won the lottery, an RS6 is the car that you would have. But day to day, it's massive. It's terrible on fuel. You can't park it anywhere because you're worried that someone's going to ding it. It's so expensive that there's a weight responsibility on your shoulders that every time you drive it, you're actually a little bit scared. Well, the, ma the main thing is with daily driving is most people, as a daily driver, go work and back. Mm. They sit in an office, whatever they do, they go from one place to another, and it's 20 minutes, half an hour from their work. So it's fine if you've got an RS6 or an SVR and you're just doing that. Yeah. When you start driving them, yeah. using them, like, we all do miles. Yeah. We do lots of miles. Yeah. Well, I definitely do, and I know Sam does, and you do some miles yeah, as well. Yeah. When you start doing that, it hurts. Yeah. Because you're then unnecessarily doing miles for a start, big depreciation because you're doing loads of miles. Yeah. People that normally daily these big cars, they're not actually doing loads of miles. They just go from point to point. Yeah. If you're doing a few miles, what do you want a car that does 13 to the gallon for? Well, yeah, exactly. Who cares? I need a workhorse. You've and here one. it is. This is the workhorse, ladies and gentlemen, the new Golf 
GTI, I actually cannot wait to fiddle around with it. Mm. I think it's going to be so cool and completely different to some of the stuff that I've had quite recently. But I love, like just here I can get the little snippet of the interior, red brake calipers, the perfect wheels. Tony, you smash it out of the park. I'm going to give you a fist bump. Pleasurable. And uh, I'm going to get on my way and head round the M25 over the Dartford Crossing, which I can pay in two taps using Cora. <laughs> you love it. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can't work it out. <laughs> but there we go. So good to catch up with Tony and collect the Golf GTI. I'm so excited for this car. And the next video that comes, I'm gonna go back to the classic, what I did with the Nissan GTR and give you my first 24 hours, an honest review of how I'm getting on with this car. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. Head into the links in the description for Cora and to check out the stock that Gravelwood Car Sales has here as well, because they have definitely stocked up from the last time that I was here. But ladies and gentlemen, I will see you soon. Tony, say goodbye before you go another phone call.